Thanks, guys. I'm here at the University of Technology, Sydney, where today an event's being held to teach kids the wonderful art of coding. Let's go check it out. So I'm here with Sarah, who's one of the organisers of the event. Sarah, what exactly is We Speak Code? We Speak Code is an initiative to teach kids around the country how to code. So we've got 7,000 students this week learning to code for the very first time um, all around New South Wales. And what are you hoping that the kids that come here today can get out of this event? I hope that they understand the, the things that they can do uh, with code. Whether or not they go off and become computer scientists and are amazing coders, whether they go off and build the first amazing game for their, for their their school or whether they just know what technology can do, I hope this is the moment that teaches them how they can make amazing possible. So Sarah, Lucy, what are you guys learning here today? So when we came here, um, they were really friendly and we came in and we saw a couple of the games that they made and we've like been asking questions with the gamers and, and we've been asking how like they develop it. There's a formal session where they're going to learn how to build a game, so all the students will have built a game today. And then we have up in our, uh, an expo area for students to come and talk to people who have either used code to make something amazing or uh, started where they were at school and have a career in, in uh, computer science. And have you guys had any experience with coding before, Sarah? Uh, we had a little bit of experience, but watching coming to this place gives us more of an inspiration to do more and to um, code more. I did a, some basic coding in high school, like in an IT class, and it basically it was very basic. How you can still get the general idea of what it's about, and it was quite fun making like calculators and stuff like that. Why is code so important these days? Yeah, code is fundamental to pretty much everything that runs our lives, and 50% of jobs today they need uh, an understanding of technology, whether it's a deep understanding or uh, enough to know what's possible. The thing is, the students actually want it. Like We're seeing something like two-thirds of students that we surveyed in Australia want to learn more about code. They understand already how important you know, technology is, or just how innate it is to the things that we do every day. It's giving us an insight into um, how much like we can achieve like with this coding stuff. Yeah, and um, like there's many jobs out there for it and um, how much it shapes the world. I'm definitely getting into this. I'm going to do a computer science degree at university. So I hope that'll be very good for me. At the start, I was just like, what am I doing here? I'm never going to compete with these people. And then they told me, like, you don't have to be a genius to do this. You just have to be really determined and in creativity that can make you do these things. Well, since young people are very interested in video games, it's very good that they learn how to code. And then basically they can make their own games and show off to their friends. And it's really, it's really good experience. Our lives will change for the better because of you know, students who understand code and have great imagination and dream big to, to make our lives just that much more magical and, and wonderful. Thanks, Goose, and good luck to all those young coders. Right, now it's time for you two to go answer some questions at the Ask Spawn Point desk. <laughs> oh! Up and away he flies. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. -ja. 